Princess Anne, long hailed as the most beloved member of the royal family, was on the verge of breaking her silence. Rumors of family discord and scandal loomed over the monarchy, with insiders claiming that Anne had sent a heartbreaking message to her brother, King Charles, following the death of their mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Accusations of betrayal and tension between royal members were running rampant. Was the monarchy on the brink of collapse? The media buzzed with speculation, fueling a narrative of chaos within the royal walls. For days, tabloids fueled the fire, suggesting that Anne's loyalty was in question. How could the steadfast sister of the king allow herself to be drawn into such controversy? The tabloids claimed she was pitting herself against Camilla, the new queen consort, casting doubts on her dedication and loyalty. The world watched with bated breath, eagerly anticipating an explosive revelation that could change everything about the royal family. The drama seemed almost too much to bear, as the public held its collective breath, waiting for Anne's next move. But as the storm raged on, a different narrative began to emerge, one that highlighted the resilience and unwavering spirit of Princess Anne. Born into a life filled with duty and expectations, and childhood was marked by the burden of her royal lineage. From an early age, she faced the challenges of growing up under the intense scrutiny of the public eye. The weight of her mother's crown often overshadowed her own identity, leading to a childhood characterized by distance and duty. Yet, through it all, Anne emerged as a pillar of strength. As Anne navigated the complexities of royal life, her dedication to service became her hallmark. She consistently placed others before herself, embodying the spirit of selflessness that defined her family's legacy. Her education at prestigious institutions, combined with her passion for equestrianism, showcased a young woman determined to carve her own path. Winning the individual title at the European Eventing Championships in 1971 was just the beginning of her impressive journey, making her the first member of the royal family to achieve such a feat. Despite her accomplishments, Anne's personal life was fraught with turmoil. The public was captivated by her tumultuous first marriage to Mark Phillips, which quickly became mired in scandal and infidelity. Rumors swirled, but Anne remained resolute, showcasing her strength and resilience as she navigated the fallout. Their divorce in 1992 marked the end of a chapter filled with public scrutiny, but it also paved the way for a quieter, more fulfilling second marriage to Commander Timothy Lawrence. Even amidst the challenges of royal life, and demonstrated a remarkable ability to endure. A near-fatal kidnapping attempt in 1970 forsook her to her core, but instead of succumbing to fear, she emerged as a symbol of bravery and determination. Her refusal to be intimidated by the assailant, famously declaring, not bloody likely, solidified her reputation as a fearless royal. The nation rallied behind her, and she became a beacon of hope and strength for a public desperate for stability. Anne's dedication to her royal duties continued unabated, even as she faced personal tragedies. The loss of her father, Prince Philip, in 2021, followed by the death of her mother, Queen Elizabeth II, in 2022, dealt a devastating blow. Yet, during these dark times, and stepped up as a source of support for her brother, King Charles, managing family affairs with grace and poise. Her steadfastness earned her admiration not only from the public, but also from within the royal family. In the wake of their mother's passing, Anne's bond with Charles deepened. The siblings, who had shared a lifetime of experiences, became each other's pillars of strength. Their connection, forged in the fires of royal duty and personal challenges, stood strong as they navigated their new roles. And support during Charles's ascension to the throne demonstrated her unwavering loyalty and commitment to her family. As tensions continued to brew between Anne and Camilla, speculation mounted about the future of the monarchy. And straightforward nature clashed with Camilla's more relaxed approach to royal duties, leading to whispers of discord. Yet, beneath the surface, a different story unfolded. 
Anne's concerns for Camilla's dedication were rooted in a deep sense of duty to the royal family, showcasing her unwavering commitment to the institution. When Charles announced his cancer diagnosis in February 2024, the world held its breath once again. Would this new challenge strain the royal family further? Anne, ever the devoted sister, stepped into the breach, taking on additional responsibilities and ensuring that the monarchy continued to function smoothly. Her unwavering support during this trying time highlighted the strength of their bond, even as they faced external pressures. As the royal family continues to navigate its high, princess and stands firm as a beacon of resilience. Her tragic past has shaped her into the strong, selfless woman she is today, and her dedication to her family and duty remains unwavering. The whispers of scandal may linger, but they cannot overshadow the remarkable legacy she has built through strength, loyalty, and an unyielding sense of duty. In the end, the royal family is not merely a collection of titles and duties, it is a tapestry woven with love, loyalty, and shared experiences. The tensions and challenges they face only serve to highlight the strength of their bonds. As Anne continues to support her brother and the monarchy in their time of need, the world watches in awe, reminded of the true meaning of family and duty. Despite the trials they endure, the resilience of Princess and shines brightly, illuminating the path for future generations. The story of Princess and is not just about a royal figure navigating the complexities of her lineage, it's a tale that resonates with anyone who has faced challenges and emerged stronger. Throughout her life, she has faced public scrutiny, familial obligations, and personal tragedies. Yet, with each hurdle, and has displayed an unwavering resolve that captivates the hearts of the British public and beyond. As the royal family grapples with the impending challenges of a new reign under King Charles, the weight of expectation grows heavier. The memory of their mother, Queen Elizabeth II, looms large, casting shadows of both nostalgia and pressure. How would they honor her legacy while forging their own paths? This is where Anne's role becomes increasingly vital. She is not merely a participant in this royal narrative, she is a guiding force, helping to steer her family through uncharted waters. Rumors continued to circulate about the relationship between Anne and Camilla, suggesting that the two women had different visions for the future of the monarchy. However, as tensions mounted, a pivotal moment emerged. A public engagement at a charity event brought both women together on stage for the first time since the rumors had begun swirling. As the crowd watched intently, the air was thick with anticipation. Would they display a united front, or would the rifts in their relationship be laid bare for all to see? The moment was electric. And took to the stage, her posture confident, exuding a sense of calm authority. When Camilla joined her, the tension in the room dissipated slightly. Their shared smiles and genuine interactions suggested that perhaps the divisions were more perceived than real. In a heartfelt speech, and spoke of the importance of unity, family, and carrying forth their mother's legacy. She emphasized how every member of the royal family, including Camilla, plays a vital role in this new chapter. The audience erupted into applause and for a fleeting moment, the clouds of discord seemed to part, illuminating a path forward. As the months passed, the royal family began to find their footing under the new reign. The impact of Anne's steadfastness became evident. Her unyielding commitment to her duties, and her family set a tone of resilience that reverberated throughout the institution. The public began to see her not just as a royal, but as a symbol of endurance and loyalty. The media that once thrived on sensationalism started to shift their narrative, focusing instead on the inspiring strength of Anne's character. In her advocacy work, particularly around issues like mental health and gender equality, and continued to shine. She engaged with communities across the UK, sharing her experiences and encouraging others to pursue their passions. This commitment not only showcased her as a relatable figure, but also positioned her as a champion of social causes, further solidifying her reputation as a modern royal. 
Amidst this newfound positivity, another challenge emerged. A devastating storm struck the UK, causing widespread devastation and leaving many communities in dire need of assistance. And never one to shy away from a challenge sprang into action. She coordinated relief efforts, ensuring that support reached those who needed it most. Her tireless dedication in the face of adversity brought hope to many, and her presence in affected areas served as a reminder that the royal family was there for their people, especially in times of crisis. As she visited shelters and spoke with families affected by the storm, the stories began to flow. Residents shared their fears, their losses, and their gratitude for the support they received. And listened intently, her empathy palpable. Through these interactions, she reminded the nation that the royal family was not just a distant figurehead but an integral part of the community. She humanized the monarchy, bringing a sense of warmth and approachability to her role that many had not seen before. The public's perception of princess and evolved rapidly. No longer seen as merely a royal with a complicated family history, she became a beacon of hope and resilience for the British people. The media, once fixated on scandal, now celebrated her commitment to service, her courage in the face of personal loss, and her ability to inspire those around her. The tides of public opinion shifted, and then emerged as one of the most respected figures within the royal family. With each passing day, the bonds within the royal family deepened. The challenges they faced served to unite them, reminding them of their shared purpose and the legacy they carried. Anne, with her steadfast loyalty and unwavering support, became a vital pillar of strength, not just for her brother but for the entire family. As they navigated the complexities of royal life together, the lessons learned from their past continued to inform their present. The drama of the past gradually faded, replaced by a new narrative of unity, resilience, and hope. The royal family, once viewed through a lens of scandal and intrigue, began to be seen as a dynamic and modern institution capable of inspiring change. And at the heart of this transformation was Princess and a woman who had faced countless challenges and emerged not just as a survivor but as a thriving force for good. As the nation watched in awe, the royal family embarked on a new chapter filled with promise. Their commitment to serving the people of the United Kingdom, championing social causes, and supporting each other through thick and thin became a testament to their strength. Anne's journey had not only reshaped her own legacy, but also illuminated a path for others to follow. In the end, the tale of Princess and is one of redemption, resilience, and unwavering love for family and duty. Her story transcends the trappings of royalty, touching the hearts of many who strive to overcome their own challenges. As she continues to forge ahead, the world eagerly anticipates what the future holds for this remarkable woman, a true embodiment of strength in the face of adversity, serving as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope and love can shine through. The story of Princess and does not conclude with her triumphs in public service and familial unity, rather, it evolves into a broader narrative of transformation that encompasses the royal family and the nation. In the months following the storm, Anne's efforts began to catalyze significant changes within the monarchy, challenging long-held perceptions and initiating a dialogue about the role of the royal family in contemporary society. The British public, inspired by Anne's tenacity and authenticity, began to rally behind a new vision for the monarchy, one that was not only ceremonial but deeply engaged with the everyday lives of people. The media, too, played a critical role in this shift. Where sensational headlines once dominated, stories of community engagement, royal charity work, and an impact on mental health and welfare became front-page news. It was as if a collective awakening had occurred, igniting a newfound appreciation for the royal family's contributions. Amidst this evolving landscape, and faced her own internal challenges. The pressures of being a public figure, especially in the wake of such heightened scrutiny and expectation, weighed heavily on her. Despite her outward confidence, she often grappled with self-doubt, 
wondering if she could live up to the expectations that had suddenly surged. In private moments, she questioned whether her efforts were making a real difference or merely serving as a distraction from deeper systemic issues. However, it was during these times of reflection that and found strength. Drawing inspiration from the countless individuals she had met during her community engagements, those who shared their stories of resilience, hope, and perseverance, she recognized the profound impact of connection. It became clear that her role was not just to symbolize royal duty but to foster relationships, create dialogue, and empower others to find their voices. And decided to take her advocacy efforts further, establishing a foundation focused on mental health and community support. This initiative aimed not only to raise awareness but also to provide resources for those struggling in silence. She envisioned a platform where people could share their stories and access help, creating a safe space for dialogue around mental health, an issue often shrouded in stigma. This was a personal mission for, and rooted in her understanding of the complexities of mental well-being and the importance of community. As the foundation gained momentum, it quickly became a rallying point for the public. The media followed suit highlighting stories of individuals who found solace and support through the initiative. Anne's passion and commitment were infectious, her determination inspired countless others to join the cause, amplifying the message of mental health awareness across the nation. Soon, high-profile collaborations with mental health organizations began to emerge, further legitimizing her efforts. Yet, while Anne was basking in the success of her foundation, another unexpected challenge surfaced. Rumors about the royal family's financial dealings began to circulate, reigniting tensions and threatening the newfound positivity surrounding the monarchy. As the allegations escalated, it became imperative for the royal family to address the situation head-on. During a particularly tumultuous press conference, and stood alongside her siblings and King Charles, each displaying a united front. The air was thick with tension, reminiscent of earlier days when such challenges seemed insurmountable. And took a deep breath and stepped forward to address the public. With unwavering resolve, she spoke candidly about the importance of transparency, accountability, and integrity in their roles. Her passionate words resonated deeply, reminding the audience that the royal family was not above scrutiny, they were human, too. We are committed to serving our nation, she declared, her voice steady and unwavering. We acknowledge the concerns raised and are taking steps to ensure that we operate with the highest level of transparency. We understand our responsibility and are here to uphold our duties with integrity and respect. The audience listened intently, sensing a shift in the royal narrative a collective acknowledgement of their role in the modern world and a promise to adapt to the expectations of their subjects. The press conference proved to be a turning point. While the rumors persisted, the family's willingness to confront the issues head-on garnered respect. Anne's bravery in the face of adversity, coupled with her unwavering commitment to positive change, reinforced her position as a vital member of the royal family. The public rallied behind her, viewing her as a beacon of hope amid uncertainty. In the months that followed, the royal family continued to engage in open dialogue with the public. Town hall meetings, community outreach programs, and transparent financial disclosures became the norm, helping to rebuild trust and foster a sense of community between the monarchy and the people. Anne's vision of a more engaged and accessible royal family began to take shape, transforming the perception of royalty in the UK. As this transformation unfolded, and also found solace in her personal life. Strengthened by her experiences, she developed deeper relationships with her siblings, forging bonds built on shared challenges and a renewed sense of purpose. The royal family, once viewed as a distant institution, began to feel like a family in the truest sense, a unit working together toward common goals, guided by the legacy of their mother. With every step forward and continued to exemplify the power of resilience. 
she became a living testament to the idea that strength is not merely the absence of struggle but the ability to rise and face each challenge with determination and grace. Her journey served as an inspiration not only to the royal family, but to countless individuals navigating their own difficulties. As the nation looked toward the future, the transformation of the monarchy, led by figures like Princess and became a source of hope. Their commitment to change, advocacy for mental health, and unwavering dedication to serving the public rekindled a sense of pride in the institution. The story of Princess and evolved into a powerful narrative of resilience, unity, and the belief that even in the face of adversity, positive change is possible. And so, the journey of Princess and continues, a journey marked by challenges, triumphs, and the unwavering spirit of a woman determined to make a difference. Her legacy is no longer just about being a royal, it's about being a force for good, a symbol of hope, and a champion for those who often feel unheard. In a world that can sometimes feel dark and uncertain, and light shines brightly, illuminating a path toward a future where love, compassion, and resilience reign supreme. They engage in candid discussions about their roles, the potential for collaboration becomes evident. Both women realize that their unique strengths can complement each other in ways that elevate the royal family's standing in the public eye. Their meetings, often held away from the prying eyes of the media, spark whispers of a new partnership. Observers speculate that if they can find common ground, the royal family could emerge stronger than ever, bridging the gap between traditional